guys, welcome back to the RopeDye.com video blog. Great to see you again. Thank you very much. It's great to see you again. It's great to be seen again, because I'm not really seeing you. But I really appreciate that you're here, you're now, you're listening to what I'm saying, and I hope it's been helpful so far, and I hope you're getting something out of it. We're getting closer and closer to getting you that perfect pair of raw salvage denim jeans. You know we talked about fit, to be 100% clear, size and fit, two totally different things. We talked about fit a couple of vlogs ago, I'll put a link to that down below. Then we talked about denim weight, again I'm going to put a link to that down below. So now we've nailed the fit you're looking for and the denim weight, it's time to decide on the jeans that you're going to be donning for the foreseeable future. Now I'll prefix this by saying that your best, best, best way to get jeans is in a brick and mortar store. A good jeans store will have a plethora of brands to choose from in a variety of different fits. There'll be a member of staff there with an in-depth knowledge of the jeans the stores carries and he or she will be able to help you find not only the perfect fit, but the perfect size as well. I mean, when you're in there, don't be afraid to try on multiple pairs in different sizes, just to compare and contrast. And also, be open-minded. Maybe you went into that store because they carry a specific brand you're after, but take a look at alternatives and listen to what's on offer from the guy behind the counter. They have sold, you'd hope, hundreds if not thousands of pairs of jeans and they just know what's right for a customer. And just keep trying and trying and trying. Just have a pile of jeans stacked up until that one jean just pops onto your frame. You really will know when it happens. It's kind of like falling in love. You can't exactly say why that person, but it just is. But the same for your jeans and it's probably going to last longer as well. Bitter. And also, do not be nervous. I don't quite get it. So many of you guys out there are terrified of shopping. If you're lucky enough to have a good denim store around town, you can use it. It just seems to be the nature of raw denim that it builds up a community and these stores tend to be the hub of that community. Can't tell you how many times I've been hanging out with my mates in store, get introduced to another customer and we just become fast friends. Sadly, the reality is that we're not all so lucky that we have a really great denim store around the corner that's got a great selection of denim. Or maybe you have your heart set on that collab jean that's only sold in blue and green in New York, but you live on the, the moon. Huh? What? It, it could happen. Well, that's why God invented mail order. And this is where you have to take a little bit of time to find your perfect size. And whatever you do, do not go off the waist measurements, okay? Just don't do it. I don't pretend to understand the logic behind the waist measurements. It kind of seems arbitrary. In some brands, I'm a 32, in others a 36. In some fits, I'm from the same brand. I'm a 34 in one fit, 36 in another. The number seems to be more named at vanity. I mean, for example, the jeans I'm wearing just now, they are 34, but my fat ass actually measures a 38. But whatever, the point is, you need to get your measuring tape out. Go off. Find a pair of jeans you already have that fit you well. This is your starting point. Now, go off, bring up the website where your dream jeans are sold. Dream jeans. Dream jeans are sold. If they are at all worth their salt, you'll find an in-depth guide on just how they measure their jeans. A measuring guide is 110% essential. If they don't have one, then I'd really strongly encourage you just to bounce. Don't buy from that store. Now, the trouble is there's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> which has nothing to do with jeans, but there's also more than one way to measure your jeans. So it's important to look at the measuring guide of the shop you're going to be buying your jeans from. Make sense? Yeah, you're with me so far. Say I wanted the 316 32 BSP Shadow Selvage Straight Taper. Now, the jeans stores in Berlin don't carry this particular model, so I have to head over to Selfedge's web store where I bring up their jeans finder. Selfedge have an awesome infographic showing how they measure their jeans, Study it and measure your existing jeans in the same way. You're going to find you have a list of sizes you can compare uh, with the size charts from your specific jeans on the website. I'm going to use these Levi's Vintage Clothing 501 1919 jeans. They fit me well, but maybe they're a little bit too roomy at the leg opening. Denim is awesome, but a little bit light for me at the moment. It's cold. It's cold outside. But the waist, rise and thigh are just pretty much spot on. So, I'll button them up, lay them flat, measure the waist, multiply by two, take a note. Front rise, find the bar tag and measure up from that to above the button. Take a note. Thigh, 
one inch down from the bar tack in the crotch and straight across. Knee, 14 inches down from the bar tack in the crotch, straight across. Leg opening or hem, lay it flat, measure straight across. Now, for some reason, they don't have an inside leg here. Might be because the jeans are sold here, only come in one leg length, which is kind of common in the world of raw denim. But for the sake of completeness, I'm gonna show you just now. I got this from the Rivet and Hyde web store. Seems like a sensible way to me. Lay one of your le legs of your jeans flat, so the inseam is lying straight, measure from the crotch to the hemline. There we go, with these numbers, you can go over, look at the measurements on the 32 BSP page and choose the size and make sure that they're actually going to fit me. Now, I mentioned that each store has variations in how they measure their jeans. When I was looking around, I did find that they're pretty much much of a muchness, but I would encourage you to just take a look and make sure the methods match if you're looking at various sites. If we head over to Denemo, for example, they do measure the waist in the same way as Self Edge, but they also know another method. We see here how they paper clip a measuring tape to the inside of the waistband. This is a method preferred by the Japanese. It's super accurate, but it's also a bit of a faff. But keep it in mind if you're looking to the east, east, never east, east. So armed with these numbers, I can now go and have a look around, check the measuring methods, and then look at the sizing charts for each and every gene that I've actually got my eye on at the moment. I know this may seem like a bit of a faff, but this is an essential step and it's going to save you time and money in the long run. You don't want to be sending your new jeans backwards and forwards, this is going to be expensive, it's a hassle, and it's just going to delay you getting your, your project pair started. I hope this vlog and how often it's coming out is not delaying you in getting your project started. Stick with me a few more weeks guys and you're going to be good to go. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Um, I hope this is I hope this is interesting for you. I hope this is actually informative for you as well. If there's something that I've not covered or if you've got any questions on the stuff that I have covered already, guys, put a note down below. I'm going to do my best to answer you. And if enough people have the same, uh, same question, then I'm going to use that for another vlog like further down the line. If you can do me a favor, if you can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really does help us out. Up next, or for the next vlog, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put what we've learned so far uh, into action in deciding what my next project pair of jeans are going to be. It's going to be sort of learning by example. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, it makes sense. Anyway, guys, till next time, thank you again, and I'll see you in the next vlog.